Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max news for the month of August. A lot of cool stuff happened during this month and we will see some of them. First we have a new Max 2A that has been updated to the version 5.6.4, giving support to the new Arnold 7.2.3. This new version adds support to global light sampling on the GPU before it was only available on the CPU. You will see a big improvement if you work with more than 8 lights in your scene. Now, with a lot of lights, it's way faster. The speed increases goes from 2 times faster up to 50 times faster when you have thousands of lights. We saw a new distance shader on the last version, but now it gets improved on this new version with exposing direction and distance to the nearest hit. Lee Griggs display in 3ds Max some cool examples that you can use now uh, having this distance exposed in 3ds Max. Amazon released Deadline 10.3.0.9 that basically adds support for 3ds Max 2024 and also it's upgrading to Python 3.10. It had some different general improvements like a new application plugin and monitor submitter for the Deadline command and others. You can check all the news in the official documentation that will be provided on the description below. Connector is a great asset browser with multiple possibilities. The bridge with 3ds Max is called 3ds Max Integration, now it's version 3. It comes with multiple improvements with a complete rework of Merge as Proxy for better artist control. Support for parametric and rigged assets, supporting forest pack, rail clone, multi scatter and chaos scatter. You can drag and drop all, all of these assets from connector to 3ds Max directly without any breaking, the same for all rigs and assemblies. Now it comes with a new global settings and other bug fixes and requests by the community. Mosen GH released Duplicorver, a Maxir tool that brings the power and versatility of ZBrush, insert multi mesh curve brush inside 3ds Max. Artists can replicate and deform meshes along a path in a very easy and efficient way. The tool features intelligent cloning, seamless welding, dynamic thickness control, flexible rotation and twist, orientation customization, interactive real-time editing and more. A personal license costs less than $4. DMZ Scripts released Content Browser for 3ds Max. It helps to quickly find 3D assets files in your hard drive. It will find all the 3ds Max assets, materials, HDRIs, and directly allowing to drag and drop easily into your scene. Supports Max 2021 to 2024, and it costs 30 euros. Mixamo to Bypad Converter 1.05, done by Isaac Surio, allows to basically grab a character animation from the popular Mixamo website and convert it automatically to Bipad. The script costs $40 and now allows to create a batch convert of multiple files all at once. Changso Eun released an update for CS Make Preview now version 1.21. It's a script to create previews in 3ds Max, with a lot of more features than the default 3ds Max preview. You can use tokens, select select the shadow resolution you want, and on this version you can minimize it to have a very small interface that you can customize with only the necessary parameters to versionize or create new previews. This tool is totally free. Norberto Aguilera once more shared a free and a very cool Spider-Man model and animation. You can see it here in action with different jumpings and idle animations, pretty cool, and thank you a lot Nor Norberto, always sharing this stuff for free. And we have important news because Autodesk, Pixar, Adobe, Apple and Nvidia have teamed up together with the Joint Development Foundation to establish the Alliance for OpenUSD, that it's called AOUSD. This alliance aims to bolster the development and adoption of Pixar Open Universal Scene Description, Open USD technology, to facilitate the standardization and interoperability in the 3D ecosystem. So once more, trying to spread more the USD across multiple applications and 
I think it's uh, cool to be able to get one standard where we can move data across all of these apps. And we get even another news relating to open standards. Autodesk and Adobe created OpenVR. It's a new shading model that will allow to move shaders between these two company software seamlessly. This new shading language will be the successor of both Autodesk Standard Surface and Adobe, and Adobe Standard Material. Uh, basically, we was having Autodesk Standard Surface. The problem that is that, that they saw is that between the one from Autodesk and the one from Adobe was not compatible. So they come up with, instead of trying to impose one of both, they thought that it would be easy to create a new one that will embrace these two open format um, shading models. They will build up on Material X to provide a description of how an artist will interface with the physical properties of the surface that they are creating. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Remember that I have my Patreon where I share exclusive tutorials with my Patreons. This month we discovered how to create this digital clock using Typeflow. A very fun and easy way to create a procedural animation to create this kinetic sculpture. As well, I cover exclusively for my Patreons the updates that we had in Typeflow during the last month that has been quite a few, with Typeflow 1.0.24 and 1.0.25 with important improvements on terrains and on distractions where I cover different examples with these new techniques. And if you are on my Patreon, you have as well exclusive access to my Discord channel that we are more and more people every time. And there we are talking about 3ds Max and everyone is sharing interesting information. And with this, we start the section 3ds Max is only for Archvid because Emil Rasmussen shared on this Discord the amazing environment that he created inspired in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. He created a terrain following my Patreon tutorial for Typeflow terrains, and then he keeps improving it in Wall Creator, and he his final result is amazing. He used V-Ray for rendering, Speed Tree, Forest Pack, Quixel Mega Scans, and Nuke for the final composition, and it become really a truly great environment. Congratulations, an amazing final result. AJ Jefferies shared a very cool file through to help visualize and design elements for two rooms for Other Wall. Other Wall is located right now in New Philadelphia. It's an immersive art installation with surreal interactive experiences. And you can see here as well how it looks, the final real uh, rooms. Pretty cool to use 3ds Max for this. Stefan Hampel creates a cool environment every month. If you remember, on the last 3ds Max news videos, we saw a very cool tutorial to create a fantastic mushroom fungus model in Typeflow. And Stefan used this technique on this post-apocalyptic environment that has been rendered in V-Ray that he did for the contest Lost Civilizations for the CG launch contest. We have Reza Asai that creates this cool liquid dropping that creates flowers done in Typhlo. Shubabak was here last month and he, this month it's again here because he created this cool animation. I think it's funny. You can see how he do bad things to this biped, but basically it's to promote his tutorials in Patreon that he's creating a lot of different types of tutorials covering mostly animation. And he comes with very clever uh, videos as you can see. Autodesk created a new official YouTube channel now focused exclusively to media and entertainment. On the main Autodesk channel, it was very difficult to find anything because it was a mix of all types of videos for different programs. You had programs for architecture, engineering, mixed with 3ds Max and Maya. I think it's very good to finally have a dedicated one where it's mostly Maya, Max and ShotGrid. And you can see that we have already two very good tutorials for 3ds Max. One is a 40 minutes explaining different improvements in 3ds Max during the last years. And we have another one hour tutorial with Killworks in how they create immersive games with 3ds Max. 
this video comes from Sigraf a couple of weeks ago and now they are on this channel. So subscribe, very cool stuff right now. And I hope that we will see even more cool stuff here. We have as well an update on 3dsmaxtutorials.com with more tutorials, a revamp interface on the UI. Here, Chang Soe Eun is organizing all 3ds Max tutorials that he found available for 3ds Max that are relevant, and they are very easy to, to find because you can check for modeling, effects, lighting, whatever you are looking, and you will find dozens and dozens of tutorials for 3ds Max. And we will close this video with SIGGRAPH 2023 that happened in Los Angeles. Uh, Autodesk is his vision series there, and they had a stand showcasing 3ds Max and different talks. The talks that you could see on the YouTube videos, uh, there was first there. And Chang Soe Eun was there explaining some of the new features to the different visitors that was passing by the stand. And that's all for August, guys. August normally is a very calm uh, month. Everyone is in holidays. I am going in holidays. I hope that you are enjoying your holidays or you will enjoy your holidays soon. And I hope that you enjoy the 3ds Max news. If you like it, remember to subscribe, share it with your friends, give a comment, loving all the comments. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons. That helps a lot to do, keep doing these videos for all of you guys. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.